this is my last meal for the day. And you know, I kind of eat, I don't know, sometimes I eat two meals a day, sometimes I eat four. It really depends on how many calories and the size and how hungry I am. And I had put what I ate earlier today on a video that I'm working on tonight. So this probably won't be on that video because <laughs> I'm already uploading all those. And um, I will get up to, I'll be at about 1,700 calories after I eat this because I snuck a donut, which I shouldn't have done, but I did. But it was so satisfying too. <laughs> and then I did eat a salad. And so this is kind of like a late snack, kind of like a dinner since I ate an earlier one that wasn't too big earlier. And since I had so many veggies today, I had some chopped salad and then I had broccoli for lunch. I kind of just wanted some fruit tonight. And this is one of those sprouted bagels I got from Azure and uh, peanut butter powder and banana. And I sprinkle a little flaxseed on top for some extra mega threes and an apple. And this whole thing is about 440 calories. Kitty intermission. Kitty intermission. Ooh, there's Olaf, bashful, happy, and Genji. Her, she was supposed to be Doc out of the Seven Dwarves, but look, she got grumpy face. She should really be called Grumpy. She's like, no, don't look at the grump. Don't look at the grump. <laughs> Oscar de Grouch. Oh, she's trying not to look grumpy. You look a lot nicer in the video than I do when I look at you. Like, you can see the grump. <laughs> Happy. Oh, <laughs> Bashy. I wish I could get him to talk. Bash has got the cutest talky voice. Lel soft. They are so super soft. He is like extra, like luxurious soft. People can't get over how soft he is. I don't know why, but extra soft. And they have wild parents. They got like ear tufties. It's so cute. Look at the ear tufties. Boy, oh, ear tufties. <laughs> and the big loaf over here is not even from the same family. These are all rescues. They were from the same litter. This big guy rah, is from Houston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was rescued from a family in Houston. Him got an eye issue. Oh, his eye's really drainy today, baby. Poor thing. Poor baby. This is an old booger. Um, you're not that old. But he did have a bad urinary issue. Which, um, he has to be on a special diet now. And there's a video about that. How to take care of cats that have urinary blockages. Poor booger. He's like, what? He's gonna be seven, right? I think. I think so. Yeah. What is my breakfast, you ask? My early lunch breakfast? Yes, a bagel and cream cheese. I'm in a mood. I do. I have a mood, okay? I don't have any more of my chopped salad left, so I'm sad. I really wanted some more of that. I had that with potato last night. I was so happy. I ended up eating healthy on Fat Tuesday. What's wrong with me? I eat some naughty stuff, too, though. But what's nice is, okay, these are 210 calories. For one bagel they're sprouted so it's way less lectins in there and four grams of fiber but it's got also eight grams of protein which is pretty good for a bread substance and it's rainy outside it's overcast i get what do you call that seasonal depression where like you just get tired and brain foggy whenever it's always dark out oh rainy day <laughs> Y'all happy girls, aren't you? Yeah, happy girls. Happy girls. Happy girls. <laughs> yes, you are. They're so happy. Look at their muddy day. They're so happy. Oh, I know. Hello. Hey, Dump Dump. I'm going to make my rounds and feeding all the birdies. You're so cuties. So this is my lunch, and I am sort of in a hurry. I have a lot of work to do today. I needed to make some eggs or something with more protein, but I just don't have time right now. I had that sprouted bagel with cream cheese for a breakfast, which was 310 calories. And then I also am having this. This is right about 315 calories. So total is only a little over 600, almost 700 if you count my coffee. 
And of course I'll be eating more later. I just don't have a lot of time right now. And you know how cheap those tostadas are. Um, we just bake our uh, corn tortillas that are three and a half cents a piece in the oven for however much time we want to bake them. Then we flip them so we get them really crispy. We don't add any fat or anything to them. And I have hummus with my broccoli. <laughs> Okay, even though I'm glad I got my kids this cheap food. Um, <laughs> uh, sorry, River, you're distracting. You're literally sorry. slinging around a step stool. <laughs> sorry. Stimming much. Okay, um, see, this has got four grams of sugar times five. 20 grams of sugar in this pizza. That one has how much in that one? 47 grams of the whole pizza. 47? No, 42, sorry. 42? Yeah. Carbs or sugar, River? Sugar. Total sugar is a seven. Seven, seven. times six. Oh, my God. Four grams of Oh, pizza. my God. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's the Red Baron? Okay. I was reading this article, you know, about how um, Ireland is declaring Subway sandwiches to be a cake because the bread has so much sugar in it. And you look... This is not even distributed by a restaurant or anything. It's by a lab, right? Our food made in labs and contains bioengineered food ingredients. And I'm like, what the heck is bioengineered in here? And then I found corn syrup in here, right there. Why do we need corn syrup in pizza? There ain't no motherfudging reason why we need corn syrup in our pizza, okay? I mean, this is what I don't understand about these elites and the people that run our country who are all, you know, in bed with the government, lobbyists, and the, what do you call it, the vanguard, black rock. Um, I know, I'm going to get a shadow banned, but I don't care. I'm not going to say the R family name. But, you know, they're all like uh, same stock market, like BlackRock and Vanguard own all the stocks and all of these major corporations. And I guess they're like, there's not enough people with diabetes this year. Then they get mad that people have diabetes and they say, oh, it's your fault. You all have diabetes and you're all a bunch of fat farts. But they're the ones who are literally putting freaking corn syrup in pizza. What is this? It's like they're trying to kill us. Then they get mad and say, oh, such a drain on the medical system and the health system because these fat farts can't freaking diet right. This is why I don't like processed food. I try to eat whole foods as much as possible, but I do try to buy some stuff for the kids as typical human food that they think people eat because, you know, they start to feel like left out of the world and they don't get to eat it and they love I it. I just like pizza. <laughs> I know. I don't blame you. I love pizza too, but everything is freaking processed now. That's why it's better just to make our own you know when we make our own pizza we can be in control of what's in it except for like pepperoni if you're buying pepperoni god knows what's in pepperoni right so anyway i just thought i would throw this in here because i have so had it with these big corporations with the big government with big you know stock market you know our inflation is because of commodity trading right it's not just like what is that uh supply and demand it's old farts sitting somewhere up in their ivory towers, betting on which thing will and will not sell, and that's what's causing inflation. I mean, God, when will we ever just be rid of them? By the way, my hat's biology are pretty great. It is Saturday, and I'm gonna eat me some lunch, and I'm gonna eat the entire salad. It sounds so good, and it tells you how many calories it is. It's 520 for the whole thing, which sounds like a lot, but oh well. <laughs> It was pretty cheap, so I'm enjoying it. This morning, I just had uh, three eggs with a serving of my uh, reduced calorie cheddar cheese because I just was not that hungry, so I didn't really eat much with it. So that's all I've had, so I'm prepared to eat a nice big salad. Okay, so it's still Saturday, and of course I had my eggs this morning, a big salad for lunch. Tonight we're going to have some tostadas. We are going to mash up our pinto beans we cook in our pressure cooker. And I went ahead and cooked some millet. Um, I made this for like mornings or desserts so I can eat it kind of like you would oatmeal fruit since there's no lectins or anything in it. And it's kind of more porridge style. I don't think I meant to. I ended up adding too much water because I forgot that I always add less water than they say because I rinse it first. 
Um, this uh, that we're mashing, I kind of want to bring this up because do you remember how I have told you guys, if you've watched previous videos, that these were like literally three and a half cents a piece when you get the 80 count at Walmart. Um, this, imagine, now we happen to have bought a four pack of these uh, pinto beans on a zero. I'm not sure uh, how much they were. I'd have to look up the thing. But if you were to go to the store and buy two pounds of these for a dollar or two dollars or whatever, it really is with pinto beans, it's cheaper the bigger the bag you get. Sometimes you can find bigger bags on walmart.com or somewhere that you can order if you can't find them locally. But look at how much it makes. We only got um, two, th maybe three cups out of here. And then we add six cups of water in the pressure cooker for 45 minutes. And it gets rid of the lectins, which is really nice that it, instead of having to soak it and, you know, or cook it for an hour and then make them, um, what is it? You either like, yeah, I think it's something like boil it for 10 minutes and let it sit for an hour and then cook them or let it soak overnight or whatever. So the lectins are killed off a lot of them when you just pressure cook it. And this is several cans of beans, okay? This is probably, God, one, two, at least three cans of beans right here. And so that would be $3 right there. And there's probably about half a cup still left in the pressure cooker. And then we still have a whole lot more of this. And if you were to go and pay $2 for two pounds of beans dry, uh, since there's more in here, probably about two more cups in here. So you're saving a lot of money. Um, I, can't, I can't believe how much it costs to buy them already in the can. And when you buy them already in the can, it's legitimately only for convenience sake. But if you're trying to save money, when you do it this way, you're eating... A big serving of beans for probably 10 to 15 cents a serving. And then these are only three and a half cents a serving. If any of you guys eat at Tex-Mex restaurants and things, and they've gone up in price a lot because of, you know, having to pay, keep the lights on, pay employees, all of these things, right? I used to like Mexican food because it's the cheapest place to get lunch and, you know, everything has gone up in prices. And if you make it at home, it is honestly one of, I would say, Tex-Mex food and Cajun food, which both are cultures I grew up in. And then also um, breakfast food is some of the cheapest foods. Cajun food is only cheap if you're cooking big batches for a lot of people. Because the way Cajun food design is designed is for giant pots to feed almost like a neighborhood. Because when I was little, we legit live Cajun style where like the whole street gets together, okay? So it really depends on how you want to cook Cajun food, but you can actually shrink up any kind of cultural food if you really want to. You just have to kind of redo the recipes. But I mean, come on, if you were to add cheese and all the works to this as a vegetarian dinner, uh, I mean, you're literally going to get full for a dollar. Oh my Lord, I am about to be in heaven. I have not even had a thousand calories yet today because I had, uh, what, one spoon of peanut butter somewhere in the morning, we early a.m. hours. I had those eggs and I had the big salad. And so this right here, would you, you guys are not going to believe this. This whole thing is under 500 calories and it has over 20 grams of protein in it. It has about 23. It has a quarter cup of our homemade refried beans on each tostada. One total serving of reduced fat cheese, and it actually has a serving and a half of sour cream, like one tablespoon per thing. And I weigh out by grams. I just feel a little bit safer that way. Not that anyone has to be that anal. It's just I actually like knowing what I'm getting. It also teaches me a lot about portions. That way, when you are in a hurry and you don't count every calorie or whatever, at least you just know what things are. So you become kind of good at just doing it and winging it on your own. And I may go through seasons when I don't count. But when I do, it kind of revives that so that whenever you're more intuitive eating, you have more common sense. Um, I have our lettuce. I chopped the lettuce up smaller that was in that salad bag. And then our Roma tomatoes, 99 cents a pound. The clearance green onion. And I'm telling you, this whole thing is probably a dollar max for this huge. How much would this cost you if you got a, this at a Tex-Mex restaurant? Easily $8 minimum. That was before COVID. 
So probably more. Ten if it had side. And uh, yeah, and then um, now it, was, it could be a lot more than that because we don't go out to eat, so I don't know. Um, and then we have these are like I told you guys about the um, the what is it? Dark green Koreans are in here. Actually, I think I see some. Uh, what do you call them? Serranos in there too. So I got to watch out. Those are pretty hot and some jalapenos. And I'm going to put some of those on here to get my heat going. It's going to be wonderful. It's so stinky. What's up? Our not so goth black cat, Carly McBinks. You messy. You face all messy. Look at, look at them. Oh, you, you got scabby. Is that dandruff or do you just roll in stuff? I just, he is in the weirdest places. <laughs> this floor is so dirty. He never cleans himself. I never see him Blackie. clean himself. He's got a white hair. So I see him. You're just a mess. This is a little booger. Some girls just threw him arms when he was a baby. He doesn't like the story. He was snottily. He had a ringworm everywhere. They're like, you're a crazy cat lady, right? I'm like, oh. <laughs> see, no matter how big he is, he's got a kitten now. Yeah. He's just a stinky. <laughs> It's 11.30, I'm finally eating my so-called brunch, and this looks like a lot of food, doesn't it? And it's only 402 calories. Half a cup of refried beans, a serving of reduced fat cheddar cheese, six ounces of potato, one and a half ounces of avocado, three ounces of lettuce, and that fat-free dressing I found on clearance at Kroger. And the whole thing costs $1.77. The most expensive part is the lettuce, which tells me, I mean, I want to buy it, um... Just because I think it's ridiculous to pay 66 cents for three ounces. And yeah, it's sometimes cheaper to buy the whole head by itself because you can get it for under $2 a head. But a lot of times the heads that I have been seeing where we live, since we live in a food desert, are usually like really airy and kind of like, the, they don't, it doesn't go by weight for lettuces. So you pay for a head of lettuce and most of them are not very good heads here. I don't know why. It's just ridiculous and they're wilty and I used to hate buying bag lettuce, but we just don't have good options here. So anyway, um, the potatoes, 19 cents, the pinto beans, uh, more expensive because I got them from Azure and they're organic it was 33 cents a serving and still like cheaper than getting it in a can, I think, because I mean, that's a heaping half a cup. And then I've got um, avocados, 25 cents, and the cheese, 25 cents. The dressing, I estimated about 19 cents if you use a serving at a time, which I do. So that's $1.77, which usually my meals are about a dollar under. But this is still really, really good. And getting like 19 grams of protein, 15 grams of fiber, 13 grams of fat, 402 calories, it's going to keep me full a lot longer, especially with the protein, fat, and fiber.